Alexa, how's the weather today? Who is Alexa? Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm at Siri. Who is Alexa? Never mind, just tell me the weather, please. Why don't you ask that bitch Alexa to tell you the weather? <laughs> Good morning, gang. Thought I'd start out with a little laugh this morning. I mean, probably a bunch of y'all have seen that video, or there's numerous other ones like it. But this is important, uh, and getting a little bit bigger. I mean, how many of you guys have played around with Alexa or Siri or ChatGPT or finding something out like this and playing around with AI and going... This ain't a good thing, but it's something we need to pay attention to because this could really negatively affect all of us. Uh, we all know automation of whatever affects lives. I mean, again, think of the auto industry or whatever. Used to be guys on the assembly line putting cars together. Now it's robots. People lose jobs. Okay. AI is coming to a town near you. And you're probably already dealing with it. And you might not even know. There's a bill right now that is being introduced. Looks like it's going to get signed in Colorado. Yeah, liberal Colorado figured restricting AI for really, really good reasons, okay? The bill in Colorado is pushing back against AI because they are determining that companies and government entities are using AI to figure out things like to determine who gets hired, okay, who gets a mortgage, who gets money for medical care, how medical decisions are being made. I mean, let's stop and think about this for a second. Go back to the comedy video there at the beginning, all right? Now let's start putting that into, let's say, a hiring decision. You go in and apply for a job and Siri or Alexa or whatever AI determines they're not going to hire you because why? Well, and the companies would go, well, you know, AI doesn't determine anything via any sort of discriminatory idea. You know, it's, it's a computer program. It's an algorithm. You know, it's not looking at somebody going they're black or white or Hispanic or Asian or gay or straight or whatever. It's just making a decision. Really. Because we can look back at the video at the beginning and go, okay, do we program AI to be rude? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe somebody who programmed the algorithm decided, hey, I don't want to hire white, straight, conservative Christians, right? Okay. Imagine going into the bank and AI saying, no, we're not going to give this person a mortgage. Well, why not? You know, my credit score is good enough. I've got the down payment, et cetera. It's, I can show that my debt to equity is good. Oh, but you work for an oil company and the AI was programmed for rejecting unfriendly companies to climate change, right? Okay. Imagine medical care. I mean, I'm talking legitimate medical care. You know, you need kidney dialysis or something like that. Not that you want to cut off body parts or glue on body parts. Not that kind of medical care. Okay. How's AI going to determine that? I mean, this is a slippery, slippery slope we get into. Because remember, 
even though they talk about machine learning and everything, a computer program is only as good as the person that wrote it. Because no matter how much computing power we ever get, this computer is always going to be more powerful. Well, no, I can't say that because we do have the public school system that control all deletes the brain. Uh, but you need to watch this. And I mean, at least Colorado, even though skeptically are restricting this, this is good. AI can be fun to play with, but when it what they're using it for can be very dangerous. Again, how many stories have we seen over the last couple of years about college students using chat GPT to write term papers? I mean, again, let's let's imagine this. The doctor, the psychiatrist, whatever, that you go see, the lawyer that you get, goes through grad school writing papers with chat GPT. It's not their work, but now all of a sudden they graduate, get their license to practice whatever, okay, and really aren't any good at it. I mean, imagine being in court and you know you could be going to jail you're donald trump you've been falsely accused of a whole bunch of stuff right and your lawyer got his degree by looking up all the answers on ai okay how good do you feel about your representation we need to educate ourselves to fight against this, to be able to ask questions, intelligent questions, of the banker, the doctor, the lawyer, I mean, whoever, the potential employer, on why they're using AI instead of their brain. This could be a deal breaker for a lot of people in life. In life, You think about it. You don't get a house or you can't rent an apartment because of the way somebody programmed AI. We all know that most of the tech companies are uber liberal. So now what happens when they program something into whatever algorithm? I mean, look at the restrictions we have here on this platform. I mean, go back to everything we were trying to talk about a couple of years ago. And every channel you knew was getting strikes. It wasn't because of some person back there was reviewing videos, the millions of videos that are dropped on YouTube every day. It was because somebody wrote an algorithm that if this was talked about, shut it down. That's the thing. We, we don't know who's writing this stuff. And what's going on in their head? I mean, let's start thinking about, oh, I don't know. Let's, let's use military personnel. You know, any sort of doctrine that the Army uses or Navy or Air Force or Marine Corps or whatever. And it, the generals in charge, the pansies that Obama put in, determine... The doctrine and look what it gets us you know we have a military that is least ready to fight a war since world war one okay and that's because of a doctrine now imagine that same incompetence running through 
the legal system, the banking system, the retail system, the grocery stores, whatever. Yeah, over and over and over again. We need to watch this in Colorado and see, because apparently this is the first one of seven states that have tried this. And you have a lot of state bills that have gone up in front of their respective legislatures. This is the, this is the first one that's actually made it to the governor's desk in liberal Colorado. AI is not going to be our friend because again, it's like anything else. It depends on who's running it. You know, imagine we have a bunch of Joe Biden minions running it. Hey, you know what? Let's have Border Patrol and INS write the algorithms for who gets to come in the country and who doesn't. Gee, I don't know, you think one of those questions might be, who are you going to vote for in 2024? Just saying. Pinball out.